just like spiral and ultimately like all this other stuff. And we use basically like waist chop. First move you ever learn. Uh, right here you got down. Alright? We add we add one little step here that maybe you guys don't do or you've never seen. If you have seen it, great, you're gonna be able to If not, then hey, first time seeing it. So I'm right here. You guys I like to chop this way. I like to drive you guys left side and why? My right hand is my strong hand, I'm only controlling his hips. Okay? So from here, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's actually let's turn this way. Face the stage. I want you guys to watch what I'm gonna do with my right leg. From here, I'm gonna take a knee over to a penetration. I'm gonna drive my right knee to the mat. Here, as my right knee drives to the mat, my left leg's gonna come up. My hand that's here on the belly button is gonna shoot all the way across Justin's back up. Right here, I'm gonna get as deep tight waist as I can get. If I can grab the spine, guys, I can grab the spine, and the belly's too big back right now. Not that one. Fighting me yet. Alright? Once my hand reaches here, I'm gonna just change direction again. I'm gonna do another knee over toe penetration. Drive my left knee to the mat. I'm gonna chop this arm and take Justin forward. Right to there. You guys with me on the footwork from the back? I have to change directions so I can get my arm beat. I have to change directions here so I get a deep tight waist. Your coaches are like, get a deep tight waist. And you guys are like, you look like this. You're like, yeah. guys, look, it's real simple. So I do my right knee, my other arm shoots, drive back to my left knee, and I chop it. Okay? So I'm going to break Justin down. And here's what I want to get you set up, Justin. Guys, it's called a cross wrist. This is how we ride here. Okay? We don't, most of my guys don't ride legs. We ride right here on a cross wrist. So this is a cross wrist. What do you guys call this? Two on one. Some people call this a cross wrist two on one. Some people call it a near wrist two on one. What's this called? Near wrist. Okay. Either way, guys, I never bring my hand inside. I never do this. Why? I just don't think it's that effective. I want to keep control of this arm completely. I don't want to be able to move it. From here, you can still move his elbow. I can't really keep control of it. So this is my end goal when I chop and break this guy down. From start to finish, here, driving my right knee, <coughs> seeing my tight waist, drive back to my left knee. And so this guy, I'm driving forward as I chop. All the way down, guys, I'm gonna let loose of this tight waist hand as this arm comes in. And I need any more here in the butt. From here, I'm just going to let Justin build up. Why? That's what this does going to do. He wants to build up. As soon as he builds up, I want you guys to see something set up real quick. Justin. It goes his knee, my knee, his knee, my knee. Can you guys all see that? First one we're going to do here, guys, is called a Hess stack. It's my favorite because I control his head. So I'm right here. Justin's posted on that arm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide my chest out here to this side. I'm going to reach up. I'm going to grab Justin's ear. See this head gear that Jesse has on the Cliff King head gear? Guys, this is the best head gear for this technique. My, my palm just sticks right to it, alright? I'm going to palm that head gear, palm his ear. Watch what my left elbow does. My left elbow tucks here underneath of his shoulder. Once I tuck, I start pulling down. And I need Justin in the butt. And I walk my hips and hits it. So from here, you need to go part of his raising his head up. Watch what I do, guys. I'm just going to tuck my elbow. Here, right underneath the shoulder. Start pulling down. Here, watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to knee in the butt. Keep walking. Right here, the whole time, my right hand's on one of the wrist. My left hand's on the head. I take my right knee and I plant it right next to his head. Here, I just watch his shoulder blades and listen for this sound. I let it go. Get back on the line. Get my hand raised. Proceed to go sit in the stand. Right again. Right here. From here, I'm not going to do the break now. Come on, Justin. From right here, we've got a cross wrist. I have to slide my chest down here to the side, guys. I'm not doing it like this. I'm just trying to show the set now. If you do that, you're going to hurt your partner's neck. Here, I've got the cross wrist. I keep it on his hip. I'm pulling here tight. My chest comes way out to the side. I reach up. I grab the ear. Watch. I tuck my, tuck my elbow right here underneath his shoulder. Just knee in the butt. Walking right on up. 
had me on my junior high team. We're killing guys with it right now. The guy's always going to fill it up, and he's always going to lift his head up. If he leaves his head hanging down, I'll show you guys what we're going to go to next. All right, anybody can see it again? You guys ready to try it? One more time? Guys, make sure you tuck the elbow. Here. I'm right here. I've got the cross wrist. I'm holding it tight. My chest comes out here to the side. I reach out. I grab Justin's ear. I tuck my elbow. I bump him with my knee. My hand stays on the head. My left hand on the head. My right hand on the wrist. I sit right here. Parker, if it starts to hurt, tell the guy to stop. Grab one of us.